point pattern analysis studies the spatial arrangement of points in a geographical space. It has applications in a wide range of areas, including wildlife ecology, biology, epidemiology, natural resource management, and criminology. This presentation gives an overview of nearest neighbor-based point pattern measures and their use in identifying spatial patterns, such as clustering or dispersion among point events. These measures include the nearest neighbor index, which is based on the mean nearest neighbor distance, as well as the G and F function, which are commonly used for exploratory data analysis. One of the simplest measures that considers neighborhood relationships is the mean nearest neighbor distance. The nearest neighbor distance for an event in a point pattern is the distance from that event to the nearest other event in that point pattern. The average of this distance over all events in a point pattern gives the mean nearest neighbor distance. The observed mean nearest neighbor distance can then be compared to the expected mean nearest neighbor distance of a point pattern under complete spatial randomness. Such comparison will indicate the potential tendency of the observed point pattern towards clustering or dispersion. Expected and observed mean nearest neighbor distances can be used to compute the so-called nearest neighbor index. This index measures how similar the observed mean nearest neighbor distance is to the expected mean nearest neighbor distance of a random point pattern. The nearest neighbor index can be computed as a difference by subtracting the expected from the observed mean nearest neighbor distance. The relationship between the difference and the cluster type is summarized in the table. An alternative way of computing the index is to calculate the ratio of the observed mean over the expected mean. With the ratio of 1, the observed point pattern can be considered random. A ratio below 1 indicates a clustered point pattern, while a ratio above 1 indicates a dispersed point pattern. Although a nearest neighbor index indicates clustering and dispersion of a point pattern, the observed clustering or dispersion could be due to chance and not significant. Therefore, a test needs to be conducted that determines if the observed point pattern has been generated by an independent random process. The null hypothesis of this test is that the observed features are randomly distributed. For the test, a z-score can be computed. As the equation shows, the computation of a z-score requires the standard error of the expected mean nearest neighbor distance in a random point pattern. Its computation requires the area of the study region and the number of point events, denoted as n. A z-score is normally distributed with mean 0 and a standard deviation of 1. Therefore, at a confidence level of 95%, the obtained z-score value would have to be greater than 1.96 to indicate significant dispersion of the observed point pattern, and less than negative 1.96 to indicate significant clustering. The application of the nearest neighbor index can be illustrated in an example. This map shows observed locations of the invasive termite Coptotermes formusanus in the urban area of Broward County, Florida. The summary of the nearest neighbor analysis is provided in the table. It shows that the observed mean nearest neighbor distance is shorter than the mean nearest neighbor distance that can be expected for a random point pattern. The nearest neighbor index, expressed as a ratio, is 0.381. Since it is smaller than 1, it indicates clustering of the observed point pattern. The clustering is significant since the z-score is below negative 1.96. A disadvantage of the mean nearest neighbor distance is that it hides much of the nearest neighbor information and presents only a single mean value. Therefore, a number of extensions to the nearest neighbor approach have been proposed. One of these, the G function, is the simplest. It examines the cumulative frequency distribution of the nearest neighbor distances found in the point pattern. In other words, the G value for a particular distance D tells us what fraction of all the nearest neighbor distances in the pattern is less than D. As an example, take the point pattern shown to the left, which contains 12 events. The nearest neighbor to each event lies in the direction of the arrow pointing away from it. The nearest neighbor distance for each point can be written into a nearest neighbor distance table. 
it is not unusual for point pairs to be nearest neighbors of each other. Points 4 and 8 are examples of such a case. Since they are the nearest neighbor of each other, they share also the same nearest neighbor distance as shown in the table. These two points have also the shortest nearest neighbor distance among all points in the pattern. Since 2 out of 12 is the proportion of 16.7%, the g function at a distance of 9 meters has the value of 0 0.167. The next nearest neighbor distance is 15.64 meters for event 2. Since 3 out of 12 is the proportion of 0 0.25, the next point plotted in the g-function is at a distance of 15.64 meters with a value of 0 0.25. This process increases until we have accounted for all 12 events and their nearest neighbor distances. The shape of the g-function provides information about the way events are distributed in a point pattern. If events are closely clustered together, the g increases rapidly at short distances. If events tend to be evenly spaced, the g increases slowly, up to the range of distances at which most events are spaced, and only then increases rapidly. In the given point pattern, g increases most quickly in the 20 to 25 meter range, since many of the nearest neighbor distances are in that distance range. The f function is closely related to the g function. But instead of accumulating the fraction of nearest neighbor distances between events, random points are first placed in the study region as shown to the left. Then, the cumulative frequency distribution of shortest distances from these random points to the nearest event is determined as shown to the right. Therefore, the f function expresses what portion of the generated random points are within distance d from their nearest event. One advantage of the f function over the g function is that we can increase the sample size of random points to get a smoother, cumulative frequency curve. If events are clustered, the f function will rise slowly at first, but more rapidly at longer distances. This is because a good portion of the study area is fairly empty. Therefore, many random point locations are longer distances from the nearest event in the pattern. For evenly spaced patterns, the opposite is true. Since most random point locations are relatively close to an event, f will rise quickly at short distances. In the given example, point events are evenly distributed. This gives an f function that rapidly increases at short distances. The two point patterns shown on top can be used to demonstrate the relationship between the g and f functions. The left point pattern is clearly clustered. As a result, most events have close near neighbors. Thus, the g function rises rapidly at short distances up to a distance of about 0.05. In contrast, the f function rises steadily across a range of distances. The right figure is evenly spaced. Thus, the g function does not rise at all until d is 0.05, after which it rises quickly. The f function again rises smoothly. The important difference between the two shown point patterns is the reversed relationship between the f and g functions. In addition to the observed f and g functions, the expected values of these functions under complete spatial randomness are also visualized as a separate function. The f and g function have the same expected curve. Therefore, only one additional curve is shown in each diagram. Comparison of observed and expected functions provide information on how unusual the observed pattern is. It can be seen that the f and g function lie on opposite sides of the expected curve in each diagram. This reveals their different nature in characterizing an observed point pattern. This slide summarizes the presentation. The beginning illustrated how the mean nearest neighbor distance is determined for an observed point pattern. This led to the computation of the nearest neighbor index, which can be used to conduct a hypothesis test on whether the observed point pattern is significantly different from a random pattern or not. Next, the g and f functions as extensions to the nearest neighbor approach were presented. They provide additional means to explore the way events are distributed in a point pattern.